process, you need to make sure your presses are off and stir the away from the grapes and not going to turn it properly. This is a close up look at the Anglin AI 4 inch swim bait mold. I've got it opened up and I'm getting ready to pour a skin layer. Alright, here is the clear. I have got it heated up 350 plus to make sure it cures. And this is what I'm going to pour on those molds and it'll gel up and give me something to paint on. Skin layer pour. Got my plastic to 350 plus. And I'm just going to pour it right up here and I'm going to stop about right in there. And then just pour it out. Let's see. be a thin layer left that we can paint on. Do these others. And, and the stuff that's poured out on the glass, I'll just get it up and put it back in there and reheat it for the next time. get set up and then I'll be ready to paint. This is another camera angle of pouring the skin layer and you see I just pour it in there and get it in there just right to where I want to stop at pour it out and if you don't like the way it sets up just peel it out and do it again. All right I'm gonna start painting the lateral line that you would see on a baby bass Sometimes you'll see it on a rock bass. I'm just gonna follow that line right there. And just zigzag it. Back and forth. Just take your time. And doesn't have to be perfect because every one of them are different in nature nothing is perfect just being quiet because I'm holding my breath I need to breathe and I'm just gonna do this on every one of them and we'll be right back all right while they dry I'm just gonna go over I forgot to mention I'm just using the Createx paint and just a little tiny paintbrush that focus After I get done painting the lines, I just hit it with a hair dryer and dry the paint before I move on to the next step. And I'm gonna probably do a little bit of mica powders on the outside. It's really on the inside, but on the outside of the skin layer and uh, give it some depth. And then we will fill up with the um, other colors of plastic for the belly and the top. All right, this is what we call mica powders or pigments. I got it off of Amazon and you just use a fluffy little paintbrush. It's like finely ground up glitter, pretty much what it is. And you just 
dab it. Dab it in. And then I'm going to just tap the paintbrush. Let it float down onto the bait. Then let's brush it. That one got a little bit too much gold in that one spot. That's okay. Fish don't care. Just keep adding. It looks like a lot, but once I add the green plastic that I've got, that'll be the top color. It'll turn out pretty good. Staying right where the black line is and above. And people can come up with their own paint scheme. This is mine. And a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. All right, that's all for the gold. All right, now I'm pouring the belly first, and it's gonna be poured all the way up to the top of the hook slot. And this has got some mica powders in it, and it's got plastic coloring, and it's just a white for the belly. Now this is the top color. It's kind of like a green with black flake. My son was playing around out here and made that color. I figured it'd be a good top color for a bass pattern. Here's the second one, starting with a tail and then pull my way up. I always try to start in the tail because it's got such a deep pocket, I don't want an air bubble to be in there. Just pour all the way up to the top. If you have any pour over, you can always hit it with a heat gun and level it out. moved it a little bit because the table's unlevel. I want the plastic to start going towards the head more. All right, it's time for the big reveal. Let's see if they're any good. I know one of them I hit with a heat gun a little bit too much before I added the other plastic. So the line's gonna be a little bit off. Come on here, cooperate. All right. You can see it in there. It's got the pearl belly. Let's take it on out of the mold. Flashed a little bit, so it made it stick in here pretty good. Get my knife and Pull it off. Uh, get up underneath here. Without ruining the plus. There we go. And there we go. And that's where it flashed and stuck on. That one don't look too bad. 
That might even be the one that drooped down. Let's see here. Do the next one. Pretty quick clean pour on top. Here we go. It's gonna go with the tail on that side, body on the other. Come on here. Alright. There we go. That one popped out pretty good. Get the hook slot out. It's a baby bass. Once you get the eyeballs in, they look pretty sharp. All right, let's get some more of these done and get the order out. Thanks for watching. All right, this is something that just takes time. It's a lot longer to do these than just a normal standard pour. And um, two and three colors on just regular pour is takes no time at all. But when you're hand painting and trying to come up with different things, it's pretty much like artwork. But um, I enjoy doing it. And so tell me what you think. If you like it, see something I should have done different, let me know. Another color. And it's hard to show up on camera what color. That is a olive green. My son was out here playing around and he actually made that color for some Cinco's and so I figured I'd use it for my baby bass. He had a darker, darker color I thought about using, but I think the green is gonna work out better. So, if you like what you see, just give a thumbs up and subscribe, thank you.